Hello and welcome to this new era of graphic design and we are presenting Designo Pro which is the next generation graphic designing tool built for the people all over the world that are not as creative and skilled like those expensive designers. We have got you covered. No need to pay a dime to those expensive designers anymore when you can make your own amazing graphics with a few clicks. Let me show you how. Just go ahead and log into Designer Pro. So there are three simple steps. Select a template, edit the template and export it. It's showing me how to do that. Just go ahead and click the select category option on the right top corner and it shows you flyers, infographics, book covers. Go ahead and select any category you want. We have got you covered completely. And boom, there are a lot of designs pre-built for your use. Just go ahead and browse into the categories to see these amazing designs. There are infographics, cartoons, badges, coats, and social bucket, and stuff like that. There are no bounds to these categories and templates because we are constantly adding more and more categories and designs. So let's say we need a infographic for our website. We will just go ahead and select the infographics category and select the appropriate template. Let's say we are going to choose this template. This will take you to the Design Pro editor where the real magic happens. Let's zoom in in the design so that we can see the design clearly. Just click on the zoom in button and click on the design to zoom in. So the real question, what can a Design Pro editor do? Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to change the text? Just double click on the text and change it to whatever you want what i want boom that's it just click somewhere else and it's done the text has been changed what next do you need to change the color there are popular color schemes just click on the color and it will change that color do you want to add a custom color just click on this button right here and and you can choose the color you want and go ahead and click the color and it will be applied so do you want to change the font size? Just click double click on the font size and enter your font. Let's say I need 65 font. Okay, that's done. Do you want to change the font family? Just go ahead and click the font family you want. You just need to change the positions. You can change it from X and Y and you can drag it to where you want. You can change the opacity. You can add blurness to a text. You can rotate a text, you can make it bold. You can also apply a stroke. Now how to apply a stroke? You just go ahead and click this button, change the stroke color to apply some color. It's showing me that the stroke is transparent. So just go ahead and click some color, choose the appropriate color you want and just click OK and it will apply the stroke. Now the stroke is way too thinner. We need to increase the stroke. How to do that? Just go ahead and drag it up to change the stroke thickness. And that's how you do it. You can change the stroke dash. I want this type of stroke and it's done. So it's pretty, pretty amazing that how to change these strokes to whatever you like. How to change, to, how to change the template to your need. You, if you want to add an image, go ahead and just click on this icon to add some image. You can also import your vector graphics to this template. Just go ahead and make it smaller. Let's say we want 500 and 800 and it's fly. So you see, it's that simple. Just go ahead and edit your design to whatever you need and it's done. You can also change the vector colors. Let's say you want to change this color, orange color to something else. Just double click on the, the shape and click the popular color. Uh, oh, sorry, this is changing the stroke. Make sure you select the primary color and then change it to whatever you like. So you see, it's that simple. Let's explore a little bit more with some another design. Just go ahead and select this templates option, add new template, and it will take you back 
to the template selection screen. Now, let's say we need a business card. Okay, we have the business cards, select the appropriate business card. This is the front side of the business card and this is the back side of the business card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this template. It will open in the Designer Pro Editor. There are shortcut keys like pressing Z will open the zoom tool and clicking on it will zoom in on the design and pressing Alt it will zoom out. Okay, so what if you want to add your custom text? Just go ahead and click the button and it will add your custom text. This is custom text. You see, it's that simple. Just drag and drop, change the design to your liking. So we have added some custom logo. You will need to add your logo. Just go ahead and delete the, the, the logo and add your logo from right here and just go ahead and double click on to your company name and import the logo from here you can also change a color by using the color picker just go ahead and select, select the color picker you see if you want to change the color to something this and it will change to that color it's not appropriate color to be used on this design so i better change this to something better that's better okay so that's how you do it you have some custom shapes objects basics symbols arrows flow charts and stuff like that you just go ahead and select the icon you want and just drag and place it to the appropriate position and you can change the stroke color and the fill color just by clicking on the, the colors and boom that's it you can change it to whatever you like stroke you see it's that simple okay now let's work with another design and let's dig deeper in the designer pro go ahead and select another template from the add new template option and let's say we need a um, a book cover it will open up the book covers now you can choose the appropriate book style and let's say I need this kind of style or maybe like this kind of style I will just go ahead and click on it these are some designs that will ask you to delete the object and import your image. Just go ahead and click on the object you want to delete and press the delete button to delete and you will have to import your image for your book cover. You can either select it from your computer or you can search it on Pixabay right here in Designer Pro. Just go ahead and select the add image button right below the Pixabay search and search for the keyword you like. Let's say we are going to search trees. Okay, the images are here. Select the appropriate image you like for your book cover. I like this image so I'm just gonna go ahead and click this image to load on the canvas in a second okay here you go the image is here resize the image to the appropriate I recommend pressing shift when you resize the image because it will keep the aspect ratio intact now where did the text go this is where the designer pro will help you just go ahead and select the object and press right click to send it to back. You can bring it front, forward, backward and to back by just clicking these buttons right here or pressing these shortcut keys. Okay, we are going to send them to back. Just go ahead and click this and there you go. It's on the back. That's how you can arrange the order of your objects in designer pro it's that simple the right click will help you okay now one more thing is that you can also apply 
functionality simultaneously on different objects. Just go ahead and select the multiple objects. How to select multiple objects is that just go ahead and click the object by pressing shift, hold the shift and press all the items you want to select. I want this, I want this and I want this. Okay, once you are done, press control G to group these elements. Control G is the shortcut key to group these elements. Now it will consider all these objects a single group. Just go ahead and drag it to where you want and now you can change the color to whatever you like simultaneously. Go ahead and select something like this. Okay, that's good for me. Or you can also apply gradients. What are gradients? Gradients are actually multiple colors on an object. Let's say we need like something like red on one side and a yellow one at the side. You can change the direction of the primary and the secondary color by just dragging one and two on the sides. And you can also add a third color by just third color or the, some more colors by just pressing and changing the colors to whatever you like. Like this and let's say this. Okay. So you see I have added a lot of colors but we don't need this this is not professional just go ahead and drag it right out to the bottom to remove the gradient and I'm just gonna move this one too and then move this one too okay that's it you can also apply the radial gradient by clicking the radial gradient radial gradient is from the center and you can change the radius to whatever you like. You can change the ellipse of the radi of the radi radial gra gradient, or you can change the opacity. Okay, we are going to apply a linear gradient to the text, and we have done it with simple clicks. So you see, that's how you do it. It's that simple. You can manipulate the design, or you can use the built-in designs to help you make a perfect design for your website or something other than your website now digging deeper we recommend not to go if you are not professional we do not recommend these things but you can go inside and convert the object to a path what will path converting to path will do you can manipulate each point to make your custom shape but we do not recommend these if you are not a professional so leave it to be Help you a lot there. now you can change your design to Facebook and use our design for your business by just clicking share to Facebook the shortcut keys are here in the help if you have any question the tutorials are there the live training will be provided a support system is there to help you along the way so that's it for the designer pro i hope you find it convenient to make your design with just a few clicks and we look forward for you to use this application